Hey. hey guys, JPH Studios here. Thought I'd do a quick video on uh, showing off my rig. Um, built it a few weeks ago. I will link some videos of uh, the unboxing and that sort of thing. So let's let's go have a look at it. So dual screen, Asus 24 inch 10 1920 by 1080p monitors, very very good monitors, anything Asus, I really love it uh, not biased at all <laughs> so uh, yeah they perform really quite well, another monitor will be coming in uh, a couple of months so we just get that three monitor feel so it's a, it's a bit more uh, complete but um, otherwise at the moment it's really good I don't really use both the monitors at the same time to, to use the um, PC really I, you just play PC games or you know YouTube videos on here or something like that while I play my PlayStation on this one really. Anyway, uh, so let's look at the gear. So we got the um, Razer Black Widow Ultimate uh, mechanical keyboard. Sorry, it's a bit gross at the moment. The only problem with this is it does get quite um, a bit of, bit of sweat on. It's gross actually. Um, anyway, so mechanical keyboard, awesome. Really love the sound. Just it just works really nice. I, I really like it with the macros down the side there. Obviously, uh, Razer uh, Naga uh, Elite. I, I really like the green one. I I my brother, my little brother has a, um, a Naga Molten. Uh, for his PC, but um, I, I don't really like the Molten to be honest. Anyway, um, the Razer Tiamat 7.1 surround sound headset, really, really good headset, really quite love it. Um, obviously, you got your control panel over there next to the PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, really good um, headset. You probably know some kind of a theme going here, eh? <laughs> I'm not biased, I swear to God. Anyway, moving on to my rig itself. Which is a Cooler Master Half X Full Tower. Um, excuse that it's a bit dirty at the moment. I need to uh, vacuum it. the uh, dust. There's a bit of dust in there. Anyway, this is a really cool feature. I really love this. So uh, you got the fan LED switch. Just in case, you know, late at night you don't really feel like having the whole thing lit up like a Christmas tree. So it's, it's a good little feature. Uh, LG Blu-ray DVD rewriter. Um, soon to come I will be taking out these panels here and putting in a 50mm um, a, uh, or... or 40 millimeter fan? I, I don't know. Whatever fits really, or 120 probably. Uh, fan and a uh, fan control unit up here, and probably have the LEDs linked to that. That'll be coming in shortly. So let's let's have a look inside the case. So we have a um, Asus uh, P9X79 Deluxe motherboard with a i7. Uh, 3820 uh, CPU been working really well. I've had no problems with it. I haven't need to overclock it. It's still running at 3.5 gigahertz or 3.4, something like that. Haven't needed to overclock it yet, and I can run pretty well anything on Ultra. Um, no worries at all, really. Cooling that is a Corsair H80i liquid cooling unit. Um, really, really love this unit. Um, I had a lot of speculation, especially between my friends, about um, uh, liquid cooling my uh, rig because they're quite hardcore fan cool units. But um, no, I'm really, really happy with the uh, liquid cooling and have no problems with it. Maybe one day, some down the future, I will be replacing that with a water cooling unit and I'll water cool everything. But at the moment, I don't see the need to, so that's just going to stay the way it is. So uh, we got. 32 overkill gigabytes of uh, Corsair Vengeance. Um, 
yes, it's totally overkill, but it, it was it's cheap. RAM is so cheap, and uh, it was cheaper to get in a bundle anyway. So I, you know, I thought, what the hell? Um, moving on is the GTX EVGA GTX 680 Superclock Edition. Really, really nice card. I really quite like this card. Um, it performs really, really well. Maybe I'm thinking in a few months' time I might do dual SLI. But for the time being, it's working quite well, so I'm, I'm really happy with it. Powering that is a Cooler Master 1200 watt modular power supply. It's a gold edition. Yeah, gold. So it's power saving. Um, plenty of power. Don't really need more than that. So the fan is still. Uh, sorry, the case is still running all the original stock fans. As you can see. Um, it has one 200 millimeter up here, and uh, it has space for another 200 millimeter up here. I will be replacing. I'll put it, replacing that one over there and putting a another one in there. Um, two 200 millimeter uh, red LED fans in there, just to pretty it up a little bit, make it a bit more, you know, my machine type deal, and also another LED lit uh, fan to go there as well, and. Um, I might even get a, a like a more silent one because this one's a little bit loud than I would like. Um, as for the Corsair radiator fans, I, I don't think they really need replacing at the moment. They're pretty they're pretty good. They do the job. Um, I've got the red LED fan down there anyway. So we've got a Western Digital two terabyte uh, KVR green. Yeah, sorry, bit of crap in there. Get that out real quick. I need it needs a good clean. I haven't done its uh, monthly clean yet, so there's the next part. Um, yeah, caviar green, two terabyte Western Digital hard drive as my storage device, and somewhere just there is my Samsung um, 840 series. I think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, 500 gigabyte SSD as my main bootable drive really quick drive I'm really happy with that and um, I do IT <coughs> uh, I study IT so um, we get a lot of broken hard drives so I chose a lower RPM one just to keep it more reliable so that is pretty well it for my rig also part of my setup is the PS3 of course which I play on the second monitor here. Um, but uh, yeah, really happy with my my setup and um, <laughs> playing a bit of Skate 3 at the moment. Um, so a few minor upgrades to come, but uh, otherwise I'm really happy with it. Um, obviously a bigger desk because this desk is just tiny. I need something bigger, so. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave me comments if you want to know any questions. Um, like it if you liked it, and subscribe if you will. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.